Good morning everyone and welcome back for another Shaving Soap Spotlight and this morning we're going to take a look at Sterling Electric Sheep or at least we're going to use it and tell you um, how we feel about it. Um, <clears throat> the scent on this, scent strength um, about 7.5 to 8 I want to say it's fairly robust and the scent on it it smells like a citronella candle if you're familiar with that so scent wise if you like uh, citronella you'll probably like the soap and if you don't um, you probably won't like it. Um, I'm going to use the Sterling Kong brush with our soap and we'll get the loading here. Hope everyone is uh, having a good day so far. It's very early here. It's not even five o'clock but I get up early and get my shave on and then go to work and uh, I find it's an excellent way to start out the week. Get that great shave and I don't expect um, anything other than a great shave from the gear we're using today which is uh, the sterling soap which I'm a big fan of um, we're going to use a sterling aftershave and we're going to use a Delta Echo um, super speed which was sent to me by Phil Sylvester thank you Phil all right so we got a good load and one thing about this sterling soap for the price you can't beat the quality it runs with a lot of more expensive soaps in quality. All right, stand by, we'll wet the face and get going. Oh yeah, that feels nice. Put this brush on your face and it feels like a cloud on the face, it really does. Just soft, nice. I'm not really looking to scrub and, and exfoliate and all that. And you know, a, a lot of guys will debate how much a brush exfoliates if it does um, I'm not really looking for that because you know I've already taken a shower I've scrubbed my face and I feel that I've done adequate exfoliation to begin with so I'm not looking to exfoliate with my brush um, but that's just me no problems lathering this sterling I don't find it to be a finicky lathering soap at all some people have said it is but I've never had an issue with lathering very nice. Nice thick creamy lather here which is what we want and here's a look at the De Delta Echo um, Super Speed which will be a mild, mild shaver but will work very well for me. Very nice. Yep and Sterling has excellent uh, residual slickness. To me Sterling quality wise is a top tear soap it really is uh, you just have to find the sense that you like and price wise it's outstanding and their aftershaves are quite good too and also I like uh, Rod and Mandy just seem to be lovely people so I uh, really enjoy it when I use their products now. As you know, I didn't always like the product. <laughs> you know, I didn't like the side owner, but since that has been resolved, it's been nothing but smooth sailing. And, and I'm happy to support a veteran owned business, which is nice as well. All right. Yep, great residual slickness. Um, first pass done. As always, during the weekdays, we only record the first pass. I'll do the, the uh, second and third pass off camera. I'll come back and show you the lather and tell you how the shave went uh, and talk about the post. Stay tuned for that. All right, so we're back. We've had a wonderful shave. The, uh, the Sterling Sheep soap really hit the spot. We'll put on our Thayer's Witch Hazel here, which I've been neglecting um, to show on camera. I use it still every day because it's just... It's wonderful for me and it's magic because it's made by witches of course put that away and uh, let's give you a look at the lather in the sterling kong brush here which is super creamy um, this was a very nice lather very very slick i might add too just i think really nice stuff and if you like the smell of citronella you probably like this soap stand by let me rinse my hands all right, and today we're going to use a Sterling aftershave. This one is uh, 
glacial lemon chill, so I expect there to be a good bit of menthol in it. Um, I'm not a huge menthol fan in terms of soaps. I don't usually look for hyper mentholated, mentholated, I should say, soaps, but uh, in the aftershades, I don't mind it. So long as it, uh, as the menthol sort of smell doesn't dominate the product, you know, I'm okay with it. I'm not sensitive to menthol. Um, I just don't look for hyper menthol. Although I do have, uh, I think, a Sterling Glacial Chill um, Lemon, excuse me, Lemon Chill Soap. There is a lot of <laughs> menthol in this. Woohoo! If you're looking for a lot of menthol in the aftershave, woo! This is, this will bring, um, I don't know if you can see my eyes. This brings it. If you're looking for a menthol uh, chill, that's what it's called. <laughs> it's great. All right. Um, Sterling Electric Sheep Soap. Slick, wonderful people. I think you can be very comfortable buying from Rod and Man Mandy. I really enjoyed this soap. Big thumbs up from me. Glacial Chill, or excuse me, Glacial Lemon Chill. Uh, aftershave was wonderful. Sterling Kong brush, outstanding. And our uh, Delta Echo Super Speed, wonderful. Nothing at all to complain about, and it's a great way to start out today. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and as always, I remind you, keep them up, keep them open, and follow the money.